Hi, I'm Chris Sharp, and this is PwC's Indirect Tax Digest in Brief. Joining me today is Todd Roberts. We're here to discuss a recent Colorado District Court decision that found streaming services are not tangible personal property. This is in direct contrast to the department's uh, longstanding position and a 2021 digital goods statute that said streaming services are tangible personal property. The decision impacts taxpayers' determination of whether to pay sales and use tax on streaming services and calls into question the taxability of digital goods. In looking at the decision closer, the court analyzed the definition of tangible personal property under a 1935 sales tax law and concluded that streaming services, while visible, are not tangible personal property as they cannot be touched or possessed. The court's interpretation of the 1935 law may limit the department's ability to impose sales tax on streaming services or digital goods unless the expanded tangible property definition is upheld by a higher court or the legislature takes action. Another interesting highlight was that the decision noted that voter approval, as required by Colorado's Taxpayer Bill of Rights, also known as TABOR, was never sought or obtained for the digital goods statute enacted in 2021. While we don't have a crystal ball here, it doesn't take much to find out that the department's highly likely to appeal this decision. The legislature could also step in and amend the tangible property definition, but such action would require voter approval according to Tabor. So Todd, tell me your thoughts on what companies should be considering in light of this decision. Yeah, thanks, Chris. First, taxpayers that stream content or sell digital goods should look at filing protective refund claims pending the ultimate resolution of this case. Secondly, taxpayers should look at how this case may apply to our locally collected home rule jurisdiction taxes, as well as how, how it could apply to other tax types such as sales factor sourcing for income tax purposes. Thanks Todd for your time today. For more details, read the attached indirect tax digest newsletter.